Welcome back, folks, to Super Mario Bros. 3, Part 2. Let's just jump right on in. What I like about World 2 is that it's a lot more split up. Also, the third the third and final warp whistle in the game is here. I thought these guys were always cool, but, you know, as a kid, I always thought they originated from New Super Mario Bros. DS. Patterns for mushrooms and stars in this game are just not that good. Let's go. Whoa, what we got up here? Oh, come on. There we go. I'll check out what's going on outside. I think everything's yeah. Just like the newer games. Blocks and coins are swapped. Alright, come on, give me that third star. Let's go! Alright, and yeah, after you beat a set amount of levels, this minigame shows up. Flip over two cards, if you get them right, you get the item, and then mess up twice, you're done. A fun fact about this is that it saves- ooh, first try. It, it saves, uh, the pattern, so like, if you remember the pattern when it comes back, you can get free items. So look, like, the first time, it's just gonna be like trial and error. Wow, okay. I'm getting really lucky here. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know. Oh well, I got some good stuff though. I completely guessed on that too. Alright, on to the other minigame. I did show this in part 1. So, check that out. Anyway, I'm gonna try to go for a mushroom because mushroom's the easiest one to get. Come on. Ah, lost cause. That was weird, I was on the fire flower when I hit A, but it is what it is. It's like that. Why do I feel like one of these like quicksand areas is like not quicksand? I don't know. Lives aren't that hard to come by. Yeah, like I mentioned in part one, some of the levels in this game are really short. I guess it's just one of those levels. Boom. Alright, on to our first boom boom fight. I skipped the last one to get the warp whistle. And yes, these boom boom fights are essentially mandatory because those like gates with the wand in them only open up when you beat Boom Boom. So we can check out that Toad House in the beginning. Or Pipe, whatever that was. Uh, I gotta go back and check. Also, yeah, Boos originate from this game and they're really fast. Same thing with Dry Bones. They also come from this game, but they're obviously not that fast. But yeah, Boos are really fast in this game, and since there's no Haunted Houses in this game, they just show up in castles. Ah, whatever. I didn't even need that. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? Ah, I expected that. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, I gotta wait. Ah, boom, boom, fight. Let's go. Wow, okay. I don't know what that was. Oh, I let him get away. Typical Mario boss. Easily beatable, three hits and you're done. Okay, so that was a Toad House and a fight. So that's not my luck. 
You know, for this series, I'm just gonna keep picking the middle box every time. The past two times I picked the middle box, I was actually good items. This time it's a mushroom. The last two times I was like, it's for sure gonna be a mushroom, and it wasn't. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm not using mushroom. Pipes in this game are basically just loopholes, they're not really that good. I'll demonstrate why. Like, I could've just walked that, you know what I mean? That's not a big deal. Oh, close one. And yeah, fire snakes come from this game too. A lot of enemies originate from the first three Mario Bros. Games, which makes sense, you know? Even Mario World, actually, a good amount of enemies come from Mario World. Nah, I don't need that. Oh, what's going on over here? Purple P-Switch? No idea what this is for. It's actually the first time discovering that. Okay. That's cool. Normally you need like a kick a Cooper shell to like breaks bricks to your way to the pipe hook. Not the switch. Also I love how some of the coins are just not collectible regardless if they're coins or not. Oh yeah, Angry Sun comes from this game too, but Angry Sun's like barely in the Mario series. They brought in Mario Maker, which I thought was cool. And the Twisters in this game as well. That's the only level where the Twisters is just saying. Okay, whatever. Come on, I was trying to not get hit. Now whatever. Oh, okay. I thought I had it for a second. Okay, it's just one one up. Oh, the cards are back. Okay, I'm pretty sure Star was here. No idea where Mushroom was. <laughs> Not there. Ah, whatever. Oh, I should have done four to like make it chronological. Oh, yeah, chain chomps are in this game too. Oh, that stinks. Fun fact the chain chomp was actually, I'm pretty sure, it was based off of like uh, this dog that Miyamoto was like really scared of like, as a kid, but he was like stuck to like a pole in the chain. Man, what am I doing? Yikes. Alright, that should have a mushroom though. Oh, guess not. I oh, probably should use Koopa Troopa for that area. Okay. Alright, see where this is going. Pick that mushroom. Oh, that's not good. Actually, I think I'm fine. You can jump really high in this game. Maybe if I hit P speed, I should be okay. Ah, whatever. It's just coins after all. Okay. I'm not gonna try to jump up there and reach it. Okay, it does not look like I'm gonna be able to build up P speed. And I'm at the end anyway, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go for that star. I thought I didn't get it for a second. I thought it was cool how in Mario Maker they had like the one up there. You can get a one up through that. Let's get rid of the hammer bro actually. That was easy. Okay, this hammer is actually very important into finding the third warp whistle. Alright, let's try to actually get one ups this time from here. 
So like I said before, going for the mushroom. It looks like I was gonna get fire flower there. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I usually get that like first try because I usually go for the mushroom because the mushroom's the easiest one to go for. Music box is pretty useless. All it does is it puts all like the hammer bros on the map to sleep so like you can walk past them. And not fight them. Alright, middle box again. Probably gonna be a mushroom again, but only one way to find out. Every time I say it's gonna be a mushroom, it's not a mushroom. So if I, if I say it's not a mushroom, I'm pretty much gonna get the better item. Every time. Well, now that I have a raccoon suit, I could just fly up there to the secret area. See what I mean, guys? Really short levels. Oh, I did not even expect something on the hammer, bro. I mean, boomerang, bro. And here's where the magic happens. Boom. Third warp whistle. Alright, middle box. Probably gonna be a mushroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time. But one time I said, the one time I didn't say it was gonna be a mushroom, I got a mushroom. That's just how it works. Alright, good thing I have a raccoon to here, because I'm not trying to do this with buzzy beetles and spinies. Nah, it's a dead end. Actually, as a matter of fact, why don't I just check out that pipe? I'll catch more money. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. Why? This is definitely not the optimal way to do it. I mean, then again, Mario jumps really high in this game, so I can easily reach him. Okay, I think it's gonna be further in the level, actually. Oh, no, you don't. Dang, it actually got me. Twice. Oh, well. End of the level. I was literally right about to say, I hope I don't get ambushed by... Dang it. I was literally right about to say, I hope I don't get ambushed by Boomerang, bro. And then I get ambushed by Boomerang, bro. All right, castle time. Um, uh, probably use a fire flower. Let's go. He's a spider in this game, or at least it looks like a spider. Oh, not game, like world. All right, let's go. That's not good. Wow, okay. It's a little bit annoying how the bullet bills move with the scroll. Okay, thanks, Mushroom. I'm dead now. The scroll saved me there. Okay, the scroll saved me there too. I think it's pretty cool how the bullet bills move with the scroll. Also, I almost just fell there. I forget which cool. I think it's Morton, yeah. Morton. I'm pretty sure it actually stuns you, so like, gotta be careful of that. 
Nice. Oh yeah, guys, one thing. If you die in the airship level, the airship flies away and you gotta go catch it. Let's try that again. What? You gotta be kidding me. There we go. I don't know what happened the first time. Alright, the king's transformed back into a normal human being. Now we fall gracefully hundreds of feet from the air. If my memory serves me correct, I'm pretty sure the item Peach gives you is a cloud. Yep, okay, I was correct. Okay. Alright, Underworld 3. Pretty much the only world where the frog suit's useful. Anyway, folks, that's right for part 2 of Super Mario Bros. 300%. If you guys like this, comment, like, share, and subscribe for more awesome Nintendo content, and I'll see you around.